Here is a Precision Gen 2 bearing housing and I'm going to show you how to remove the ball bearing cage. This nut is the locator pin for the cage. If it's removed, Precision says that your warranty is void, but I'm going to show you how to put it back correctly. We have a rebuild kit for this, so I'll link to that in the description box. So just unthread this. But first, if you're taking the whole turbo apart, you would loosen up the nut on the compressor wheel. It's left-hand thread. And then there's bolts on the, on the plate behind the compressor wheel that are Torx bolts. So those get removed and the shaft slides out. But when you're down to the bearing housing like this, this piece just unthreads and it allows you to remove the cage. This cage is empty. This piece can be taken apart when the, the sleeves and balls are in it, but you don't have to do that. A lot of times we take them apart so that we can clean behind them. The way to take these sleeves out with the balls is you can hit the edge of the sleeves to press this side out you would put, take a screwdriver through here and you could either press or hit it out that way and then you would go to this side and hit this sleeve out in that direction. When you go to reinstall this piece it needs to be fully assembled with the balls and sleeves and you just insert it here and you're going to thread this in and there's supposed to be an o-ring under this under this fitting here. So you're just going to push this down in there and make sure that it's lined up. So you're going to look down through this hole and then thread it in there. If it's not lined up and you tighten this down, it cracks the cage, which makes the turbo worthless at that point because it's not so easy to get replacement cages unless you get them from precision. So I've got it lined up and I thread it back in and that's how you reassemble a ball bearing inside of the bearing housing on the Gen 2 Precision Turbo.